Similar to the Secure 9000 system, the Secure IQ Security Intelligence has client and server components. If the target computer can install Secure version 3002 pack, along with Secure IQ and Victor Web Service, then it meets the requirements of the Secure IQ Security Intelligence. Secure IQ Security Intelligence is installed as part of the Secure version 3002. Users can select the checkbox Install Security Intelligence. The Alarm Intelligence rules introduced in Secure IQ version 3002 provides alarm noise reduction, alarm prioritization, and credential usage rules. To create, edit, and remove a rule, navigate to Configuration Rules. To create a new rule, click the Add New button. Enter a name and description. Select the Rule Type drop-down and select a Rule Type. Configure the parameters in the Rule Filtering and Action tab. For this example, the user is creating a rule to disable a personnel record if it's been rejected at the same or different doors three times in a 10-minute interval. Select the Enable checkbox. Click the Save button. For this example, when the personnel has been rejected at a door three times within a 10 minute interval, the personnel record will be disabled. The Personnel Intelligence layout visualizes all personnel swipes over a period of time. Data is visualized in the Personnel Intelligence layout using a virtual headcount, last known location, and access metrics widget. To view the Personnel Intelligence layout, navigate to Monitoring – Personnel Intelligence. Click the Maximize icon to expand the virtual headcount widget. The map panel will retrieve the last swipe door longitude and latitude location. The personnel panel will populate the personnel name, thumbnail, personnel type, last swipe door and date time of the last swipe. Click the filter icon. Select the filter criterion and click the apply button. An operator may want to clear a personnel's location if they are certain that they're in a different location and the last known location is incorrect. To clear a location, click the Edit button, enter a note, check the Clear Location checkbox, and click the Save button. Click the three-dot menu to view the Virtual Headcount personnel options. Click the Download button to download the Virtual Headcount data. Click the Settings button to change the refresh frequency of the virtual headcount layout. Click the Minimize button to collapse the virtual headcount layout. Click the Maximize button to expand the last known location widget. Select the filter criterion and click the Apply button. Select a personnel record from the personnel results. The map panel will retrieve the last swipe door longitude and latitude location. Use the note and clear location section to clear a personnel's last known location. Click the three dot menu to view the last known location personnel options. Click the refresh button to refresh the last known location data. Click the minimize button to collapse the last known location layout. Click the Maximize icon to expand the Access Matrix widget. The Access Matrix layout provides access information for door and personnel swipes. Select a card activity type from the drop-down.
select a door from the top five options to view the personnel admits or rejects on the selected door. Select a personnel record to view the card activity. Click the three dot menu on the card activity record to view video. Navigate to the personnel tab to view access metrics for the top five personnel records. Select a card activity type from the drop down. Select a personnel from the top five options and select a door they have access to view their card activity. Select the three dot menu on the card activity record to view video or edit the personnel record. Click the minimize button to collapse the access metrics layout. The virtual headcount layout has been designed to track personnel within a building or site. Virtual headcount can account for all personnel in the event of an emergency or evacuation by tracking all card admits across your deployment. To view the virtual headcount layout, navigate to Monitoring Virtual Headcount. Click the Maximize icon to expand the virtual headcount widget. The map panel will retrieve the last swipe door longitude and latitude location. The personnel panel will populate the personnel name, thumbnail, personnel type, last swipe door and date time of the last swipe. Click the filter icon. Select the filter criterion and click the apply button. The map and personnel panel will update to show the filtered results. An operator may want to clear a personnel's location if they're certain that they're in a different location and the last known location is incorrect. To clear a location, click the edit icon, enter a note, check the clear location checkbox and click the save button. Click the download button to download the virtual headcount data. Click the settings button to change the refresh frequency of the virtual headcount layout. The last known location layout displays the last known card swipe of a personnel across all deployments. To view the last known location layout, navigate to Monitoring Last Known Location. Select the filter criterion and click the Apply button. Select a personnel record from the personnel results. The map panel will retrieve the longitude and latitude location of their last swipe door. Use the note and clear location section to clear personnel's last known location. Click the three dot menu to access the edit personnel and view video options. Click the refresh button to refresh the last known location data. The Access Metrics layout provides a detailed analysis of personnel information related to their access control activities and is designed to allow operators to access information quickly across all deployments. To view the Access Metrics layout, navigate to Monitoring – Access Metrics. From the Door tab, users can view the doors with top 5 rejects and top 5 admits. You can also view the selected doors total card rejects and total card admits within the set time frame. Select a card activity type from the drop down. Select a door from the top 5 options to view the personnel admits or rejects on the selected door. Select a personnel record to view the card activity. Select the three dot menu on the card activity record to view video. Navigate to the personnel tab to view access metrics for the top five personnel records. From the personnel tab, users can view the top five personnel with the most rejects and admits. You can also view the selected personnel's total card rejects, total card admits, and corresponding doors within the set time frame. Select a card activity type from the drop-down. 
select a personnel from the top five options and select a door they have access to view their card activity. Select the three dot menu on the card activity record to view video or edit the personnel record. Click the refresh button to refresh the access metrics data. Click the download button to download the access matrix data. Click the settings button to configure the number of doors and number of months to retrieve data for. A risk score has been added to the event viewer layout to facilitate prioritised focus and response for security operations. To view the risk score, navigate to Monitoring, Event Monitoring. The risk score attribute uses the same colour coding as the priority attribute. The risk score values ranges from 0 to 200. To view the risk score in a card view, click the card view icon and navigate to the risk score tab. To view the risk score on a bubble view, click the bubble view icon and navigate to the risk score tab. Hover over the bubble to view the risk score and click the bubble to view the event details.